This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Vmax and the Michaelis constant Km. Here we have a graph of the effect of substrate concentration on the rate of reaction of an enzyme. From this graph, we can determine two things, the Vmax and the Michaelis constant Km. The maximum rate of reaction of the enzyme, which is the Vmax, is the point where all the active sites are bound to substrate. This means the enzyme is saturated. The Michaelis constant Km is the substrate concentration which is equal to half its maximum value. Next, we'll use this graph to determine the Vmax and the Michaelis constant Km. So for Vmax, we draw a horizontal line from the point of saturation to the y-axis, and this tells us the value of Vmax which is 0.8 millimoles per decimeter per minute. For the Michaelis constant Km, we find the value which is half the Vmax, which on this graph is 0.4 millimoles per decimeter per minute. If we draw a line to where it meets the curve and then draw a vertical line, this tells us the value of the Km, which is 0.7 millimoles per decimeter. Next, we look at the significance of the value of Vmax and Km. Vmax reflects how fast the enzyme can catalyze the reaction. A low value of Vmax means the enzyme does not convert much substrate to product per unit time, when the enzyme is saturated with substrate. A high value of Vmax means the opposite. The Vmax is a measure of how fast the enzyme can work when it is completely saturated with the substrate. And next we look at the value of Km. Enzymes have varying tendencies to bind their substrates. This is known as the enzyme's affinity. A high value of Km means a high concentration of substrate must be present to saturate the enzyme. Therefore, the enzyme has a low affinity for the substrate. A low value of Km means only a small amount of substrate is needed to saturate the enzyme, indicating a high affinity for the substrate. 